Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we're doing video three of the Granny Square um, scarf. I did complete five of each of my squares. Okay, my change in colored square yarn. <laughs> That's a choice of words this morning. Um, and my chocolate brown. Now, I did five of each and I didn't do any more than that because it's a decent length at five. And then by the time that I add my border and then put these together border to border, which is going to leave about another maybe uh, three quarters of an inch on each um, side, on each seam. And then you're going to have your tassels. So I figured that it was going to be plenty long enough. And every scarf, I, I don't like all my scarves the same length. I like them to represent something different as I'm making them and wearing them. Um, some of them I like for warmth, which I like them longer where I can double wrap them. Some of them I just like for decoration. So this one's probably going to be more for my decoration because it's so pretty. Okay. Now, I did go ahead and I did start lining. Okay, so let me get the unlined ones out of the way. Okay, as you can see, this one here is lined. Now again, in the video, the last video, I was telling you once you lined, you wanted to leave a good portion of your, um, your end uh, yarn there so that when you go to sew these together like this, like this one right here, you want to keep that yarn on the upside when you sew this together. Now, what you'll do is you'll thread, you'll thread this and then you'll go in and out right here with this thread. That way you're not wasting any and it's already on there and you don't have to have all these additional knots and stragglers and things like that. Okay, so I did this one. I've done three so far. And I was just going to go over with you. I did choose to use the white. And all you have to do, you know, you join at one corner. And be careful when you start joining. Make sure you realize that those two chains are right here. You want to go in every stitch around. Okay, it's going to be a little tight at the corner. But you want to make sure you get both of those um, highlighted there. So basically all you do is you do a single crochet. You want to go all the way around, and uh, once you get back to the starting point where you started, you'll do a slip stitch. Okay, so see you come right here, and you got to make sure that you go right into this, because those those uh, stitches right there are going to trick you a little bit. But you want to make sure there's always going to be two in the, the corners before you get to the double crochet, which is right here. All right. And I'm also using, this is actually a very, very soft baby yarn. I bought um, the two of them together, which is this, in huge balls. This ball was way bigger than this when I bought it. And it came in two big balls in one bag um, of just mixed yarns. But this is some of the softest um, yarn that I've used. And of course, when you, you're making scarves, I don't know about you, but I want it to be the softest material that uh, you can find. I don't want um, any of the worsted weight yarns that are kind of stiff to be wrapping around my neck. You know for warmth so I chose all chunky yarns which in addition it's going to make the project bigger entirely all right so once you get back to the corner you make sure to get in that last stitch right there and really hunt for them guys you want to make sure that they're all taken care of then you want to come across here you want to come to this first stitch right here and you want to go under and you want to slip stitch. Now once you get there you want to cut a good portion of this because you're going to have to sew with this. Alright so you do that and then you want to wrap like we always do and you want to pull that through. Okay so that's what you need to do for all of your squares. 
and I'm gonna finish mine up off camera so I have six left to do um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do those once you've lined all of your uh, squares we'll meet back up and then we'll go um, to joining and um, it'll be a video four I believe all right guys finish up and I'll be back with you soon